Hello, it is Throwback Thursday, January 24th, 2019. Steve Cypress here in my library. We've got a whole bunch of books, and one of them, well, several of them, actually dozens of them, I am either the sole author or the contributing author. Uh, some are mentioned in, some I've written blurbs for, or the forward, or all that kind of stuff, but uh, wrote one with some of my clients and the members of my group, the Chicagoland Sharpest Entrepreneurs, published in 2013. It became an Amazon number one bestseller, and I was at my three times a year, I meet with my clients, and we go all out and have a fantastic mastermind event, and this is the first one that I've ever invited non-clients to join us. I invited some guests, one of whom was the publisher, of that book, Mike Lewis with his Nomad Publishing. Heidi is here, good seeing you. And so uh, Mike not only showed up at the Mastermind and added a lot of value and, and met a lot of people and gave a lot of help to people and I think some uh, deals are being made, uh, but he also handed me this plaque. How cool is that? So this is signifying my Amazon, well it's backward in the camera here, but Amazon number one bestseller status for my Ultimate Entrepreneur Success Secrets. Now, actually, that is volume two in what was a two-series book. The first one, let's see. First of all, that is this book, Ultimate Entrepreneur Success Secrets, and it's actually volume two, published in 2013. 2013, the first one, volume one, is this one, and that was published in 2009. So that one is more than nine years old, also a bestseller, and did not receive a plaque from the publisher. I self-published it, so didn't receive a plaque, but I did receive this from my clients and actually the contributors who were in the book. Uh, framed one of the copies of the book itself. You can see it, 3D there. It's an actual, the book in there, not just the cover. So it's a, it's a thick, thing here, like an inch and a half thick. They framed the book in this beautiful frame that hangs on the wall in my office to this day, both of which are fantastic uh, awards, um, uh, recognition, uh, signifying accomplishments, and that's the lesson today on Throwback Thursday is people love awards. People love recognition, especially entrepreneurs especially small business owners, because most small business owners never get any recognition. You know, they meet payroll every week and pay suppliers and pay all the overhead and provide great products and services. Hopefully, if you're watching this video, provide excellent product or services to your customers or patients, clients, members, whatever they are to you, and you're a part of the community, and yet it's not often, if ever, that you get applause or get rewards. You know, your employees don't come up and say, oh, you know, you've, you know, I bought a house and I bought a car and put my kid through school while I was working here for 20 years. I'm gonna give you an award for being such a great provider for me. Like, just doesn't happen. So when you get a chance, you want to give people awards. This is a really smart move by Mike to award me that plaque. I loved it. Doesn't matter that the book was published six years ago. Who cares? I love getting the award. Love getting the recognition. And people love recognition. You know, mentor, wise mentor, shared with me years ago. And uh, Laisha's here, Tom is here, Mike, Sam, a whole bunch of names going up there. Thanks for being here. Thanks for the likes. Thanks for any comments, any shares. Love all that stuff. A wise mentor share with me, and I'll leave you with this. He said uh, there was a saying and uh, I think it was a saying, it was about uh, war, and it was um, recognition. Babies cry for it, and grown men die for it. Saying is how, you know, the, the platoon leader, the sergeant, whoever's leading the somebody to go do such and such, and we need somebody to go up there, it's gonna be real dangerous, but uh, you know, we'll all really appreciate and love you for it and blah, blah. And that recognition, men will go risk their life for that. Or for, you know, you get a little medal for some kind of recognition. So remember that. Babies cry, of course, babies cry for recognition. Anyone who's ever had babies or been around babies knows that. They're crying for attention. Grown men die for it. So recognition 
and especially you know this hopefully if you have employees that uh, money they need money to we all need money um, to to live on but when you're giving bonuses sales contests or any kind of bonus that's the most common one it's certainly that I'm associated with having hired trained and managed thousands of sales reps over the years is I learned from that saying not to give cash as bonuses uh, but even if you do give recognition give that plaque give that award bring them up in front of everybody put that big chart up on the wall so they can see their name every day charging up towards the top of the list or leading the contest and then publish the results in your newsletter or you know put a plaque on the wall permanently so they can see that I mean that's what drives people the 50 bucks or 100 bucks or whatever or the dinner or the gift cards or whatever it is they're gonna be spent and gonna be gone and you know gonna be forgotten about but the the plaques that recognition and that feeling of recognition of being applauded and and uh, you know Mike handed this to me in front of my clients and the VIP guests and they all what do you do when someone hands someone an award they all gave a, a round of applause so very cool so you want to do that as much as you can it'll even save you money when you realize that people prefer recognition I know it sounds silly but they prefer rec if Mike I'll give you a hint if Mike would have given me 20 bucks how silly would that have been or a hundred bucks well, you know here's a hundred bucks because you were a bestseller you think people would have stood up and applauded and it would have been felt great and I would have somehow put the hundred bucks on the wall and remembered or shot this video about it of course not that'd be silly so I don't think it cost a hundred bucks to make up this plaque but he gave me this plaque and it's worth more to me than a hundred bucks so do that in your business give recognition and awards to employees customers clients patients members suppliers partners prospects even anybody you can people love awards and let's see we got some comments here Heidi is saying agreed the rewards are generally freedom that no one tells us what we must do we have the burden and joy of figuring it out thanks again Steve okay and I will have to have the burden and joy of figuring out what that is but I thank you for the comment and anybody else that puts one on the replay I read them all I respond when appropriate and that'll do it for Throwback Thursday. I'll be back tomorrow on Foundation Friday, where as every Friday, I will share a foundational business building tip to help you, help you make money in your business. And I hope you'll join me then. Over and out. Bye-bye.